Hello everyone, I'm CryptoNobs. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest big news to do with Chainlink. We're also going to be taking a look at price analysis as well as a few other big things. So if you guys like anything I'll bring to you, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button or share the video for more. Let's see if we can get this video to 250 likes. The amount of support you guys have been showing has been incredible. So let's try to keep it up. I also want to know down below, what is your number one cryptocurrency pick going into 2021? With that, let's get straight into the video. So we'll start off by taking a look at the market as a whole. Overall, the market is still looking very strong at the moment. We have seen some good price increases over the past couple of weeks. Over the past couple of months, there has been some very good buying opportunities, but how long would this bull trend continue? Bitcoin at 16,275, Ethereum to $473, XRP to 26 cents, Chainlink to $12.79, Polkadot at $4.52, and Cardano at 10.6 cents. But in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the latest news to do with Chainlink, but let's start off with its price. Chainlink is currently up 3.5% over the last 7 days and it is up 18% over the last 30 days. If I show you its chart on the 7 day, as you can see here, Chainlink has had quite a lot of sideways action, but nonetheless it has been very stable. If I show you its chart on the 30 day, as you can see here, Chainlink ended up bottoming at $10.1 and it is now up to $12.81. If I show you its chart on the 90 day, as you can see, quite a lot of the market did head in a downward direction, but it is the recovery phase that is the most important. And if I show you its chart on the 12 month, as you can see here, this is why Chainlink has been one of the hottest cryptocurrencies in the market. It ended up going from $1 to $19.79, and now we have retraced back down to $12, but it has been stable at these prices. We're now going to take a look at the first article to do with Chainlink. And this article says, 29 projects integrated with Chainlink last month. The decentralized Oracle provider is becoming a mainstay of the cryptocurrency ecosystem with 315 integrations to date. In brief, Chainlink has been integrated by 29 projects in October alone. Since it launched in 2017, the decentralized Oracle provider has been integrated into 315 projects. Gaming, insurance and enterprise architectures are new areas Chainlink aims to infiltrate. Chainlink's decentralized oracles securely connect blockchains to real-world data. They are fast becoming a big part of the cryptocurrency ecosystem, with a total of 315 project integrations to date, including 74 blockchains, 94 decentralized finance, DeFi projects, 23 data providers, and 44 nodes. And it says down here, we've arrived at economics that makes sense. It costs less for a user to use one of our Oracle networks with 7 to 21 nodes than it does to broadcast them from one node. Other popular DeFi protocols like Synthetic and token exchange platform Kyber Network have also integrated with Chainlink. The Oracle provider has expanded outside the realms of Ethereum-based projects too with its Polkadot and Tezos integrations and has formed partnerships with initiatives with the likes of Swift, Oracle and Google. And if I show you on the Chainlink ecosystem, they are now up to 331 integrations, so it doesn't look like Chainlink is slowing down anytime soon. They are becoming one of the fastest growing cryptocurrencies out there, and they have earned a tremendous amount of respect from some of the biggest cryptocurrencies and some of the biggest names out there. So Chainlink, in my opinion, it isn't going anywhere anytime soon, and we have seen with its price action over the past couple months that Chainlink could be here to stay. I know I'm very bullish on Chainlink, but I want to know your thoughts down below. This is the next article I want to show you, and it says Synthetics and Chainlink partner to launch oil derivative token. And it says down here, Synthetics, a derivatives liquidity protocol with over $666 million, a TVL has announced that through their partnership with Chainlink, S-Oil is now live on Synthetics. S-Oil is a synthetic asset that mirrors the price movement of oil using a Chainlink decentralized Oracle network. There will be two versions of this token available, S-Oil which enables users to capture a long position and I-Oil which enables users to capture a short position. Users can also set up a binary options markets with S-Oil to trade on the future price of the asset, utilizing a chaining power decentralized oracle network to develop a non-expiring crude oil index based on ice brent crude oil futures prices. The innovation and engineering involved in the development of this product is noteworthy as price discovery for assets such as oil occurs primarily in the futures market made up of individual contracts with varying expiry dates. 
Chaining also published a blog outlining the methodology used to create a synthetic derivative product. Together with SNX, we have developed a novel processing mechanism to power a synthetic derivative product that gives users on-chain exposure to oil. This innovation is one in a growing number of examples of how Chaining is bringing synthetic assets from traditional markets to DeFi through the provisioning of secure oracles with access to high-quality data, stated Chaining. So overall, this is another big step forward for Chaining. They are creating more and more partnerships every day. They are helping other cryptocurrencies as well as DeFi products grow to the scales they want to grow. Chaining has been helping most of these cryptocurrencies get to the level they want to get. And the fact that Chaining are the main provider is a big deal in my opinion. Chaining over time is just going to keep growing and growing and growing and become one of the biggest providers in the world purely because of what they are doing. This is the next piece I want to show you and it says Chaining beyond price feeds and data delivery. Chaining has established itself as the industry standard of Oracle solutions for DeFi, launching a market leading number of price feeds live into production that are widely used to secure $4 billion in value for DeFi leaders like Synthetix, Aave, Yearn and more. The need for price feed oracles is obvious, as DeFi is the first smart contract market to truly thrive and nearly all DeFi applications require aggregated price data to secure and settle financial contracts. The market for financial data is massive, with derivatives alone being a near one quadrillion dollar industry that almost entirely settled by price feeds, let alone the numerous other capital markets worth tens of trillions of dollars like real estate, commodities, stocks and more. However, to say chaining is only useful for price feeds is completely overlooking the much broader application and functionality of oracles, similar to those that thought the internet was only useful for email. Chaining can extend the connectivity of smart contracts to every off-chain data source and system in existence, as well as perform numerous types of computation on such data before it is delivered to its destination. There is a truly unbounded amount of data and types of computational services that the Chaining network can provide and price feeds are truly just the tip of the iceberg. The Chaining iceberg of Oracle services consists of several categories. Price feeds. Chaining's pre-built decentralized price feeds provide DeFi applications a real-time stream of financial market data, including exchange rates for cryptocurrencies, stablecoins, commodities, indices, stocks, fiat currencies and other key financial data sets. Any web API. Chaining oracles are able to connect smart contracts to any open authenticated API, opening up access to IoT data, bank payments, web APIs, enterprise systems and other blockchains, and virtually any off-chain resource used to create smart contract markets in insurance, supply chain, digital marketing and various other new industries. Verifiable RNG. Chaining VRF verifiable randomness function generates a secure source of on-chain randomness that users can independently verify as fair, unbiased and tamper-proof, leading to gaming applications, NFTs, blockchain lotteries, layer 2 protocols and more that can reliably secure large amounts of value with RNG inputs. Off-chain computation. Chaining oracles can perform more advanced off-chain computations leading to the expansion in oracle services such as scalability solidity computation, blockchain transaction privacy, oracle data privacy integrity, transaction order fairness and more. Blockchain abstraction layer. Chaining's continued integration across all the leading blockchains that exist now and in the future provides enterprises, governments and data providers with a single integration gateway to connect applications and sell data to every blockchain network, reducing the development costs and preventing vendor lock-in. So overall, a few of these reasons were reasons as to why I have been as bullish as I have been on Chainlink over the past year. I personally think with what they are doing and how big of a scale they are doing it and how fast they are doing it, they are incredibly beneficial to the world. They are simply creating and making more respect for themselves every single day and they are creating more integrations by the minute. I personally think that Chaining is going to be a game changer and I have said it since day one of starting YouTube and my mind is not going to change anytime soon. I want to know your thoughts down below. Are you bullish or bearish on Chaining going into 2021? Now, to finish off today's video, we are going to be taking a look at this article. Now, when I first saw this article, I did find it quite funny, purely because the first time Zeus Capital tried to shut down Chaining, it went horribly wrong and it ended up getting debunked straight away. Now, they have tried a different alternative and it says Zeus Capital offers $100,000 for information on Chaining's illicit practices. In brief, Zeus Capital has launched a reward program seeking information on Chainlink's manipulative and illicit practices. The reward has been capped at $100,000 for sufficient information. 
Zeus Capital is preparing a class action suit against Chainlink. They claim the project has been spreading misleading information and manipulating the price of Link. The team at Zeus Capital has launched a reward program for the provision of information of Chainlink's manipulative illicit practices. The reward has been capped at $100,000 for sufficient information regarding what Zeus Capital claims as misleading information on the Chainlink partnerships and outright market manipulation on the Link token. And as you can see here by this tweet, Zeus Capital $100,000 reward program for provision of information of Chainlink's manipulative and illicit practices. To participate, please fill out the following form. And it says down here, Zeus Capital is preparing a class action lawsuit against the Chainlink project. Furthermore, the team at Zeus Capital has announced that they are preparing a class action lawsuit against the Chainlink project and its team. They claim to be working with a group of institutional investors and victims of the Chainlink fraud. Zeus Capital further explains why they have constantly targeted the Chainlink project. Up till now, the project has been alleged in spreading misleading information about the nature and authenticity of Chainlink's partnerships. The development and funding of the network sponsored social media accounts that participate in outright market manipulations and the sale of the Link token that exhibits security type features. So overall, it does not look like Zeus Capital are giving up just yet. Last time they attempted this, it did not go very well for them at all. They thought they had an article that was going to shut down Chainlink and it ended up getting debunked straight away. Now they are attempting to pay people $100,000 to see if they could find any dirt on Chainlink as well as attempting to take them to court. So we'll see how that plays out for them, but we will have to wait and see. I want to know your thoughts and opinions about this Zeus Capital article down below. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is absolutely everything I've got for you in today's video. If you have enjoyed anything I've brought to you, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, or share the video for more. Let's see if we can smash that 250 like target, as you guys have been incredible. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and opinions down below. I've been CryptoNobes. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.